So after quite a long time, we saw an Indian company launching a smartphone in the budget segment that comes with great specs for the price. We're talking about the Sachin phone, the SRT phone from Smartron. But how does it compare to the top smartphones that are already present in this segment? We compare it with the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4. Let's take a look at how the two phones stack up. The first thing of course is about the looks and the design and this is where Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 will appeal you more. It has a metal unibody design whereas the SRT also has a unibody design but it is made out of polycarbonate material. The Note 4 also has a 2.5D curved glass on top which makes the experience of using the touch screen quite good. Moreover when it comes to small things like buttons or the capacitive keys at front you find them more useful and purposefully built on the Note 4. Though the SRT phone is curved at the back and feels quite comfortable in the hand, the Note 4 is also ergonomically good despite its 5.5 inch display. Overall, if you were to pick one of these purely on the basis of the looks and the design, you'll pick the Note 4. Another thing that adds to this is the display quality. While both phones have a full HD display, it looks very vibrant and colorful on the Note 4. But is it actually a more vivid display in real use? We found out by comparing both the phones while watching videos and doing an in-depth comparison of the color reproduction of the display. And we found that the SRT phone's display is not only brighter, its color reproduction is also more accurate. The Note 4 in comparison only looks more saturated and less bright. Both the phones have a very smooth touchscreen, so the Android experience is quite fine on these two budget smartphones. Now let's talk about the hardware under the hood. The Note 4 uses a Snapdragon 625 chipset with two, three or four GB of RAM variants while the SRT phone uses a Snapdragon 653 chipset with 4GB and 3GB of RAM variants. The 653 has more raw power compared to the 625, but in the daily life, you will see that the 625 is more battery efficient. So there was no surprise that Redmi Note 4 has a much better battery backup than the SRT phone. But talking about the performance, the SRT phone does have an edge over the Note 4, simply because of these two reasons. One, that it does have a better chipset and two, that it uses the stock Android interface compared to the MIUI on the Note 4. The Android Nougat interface on the SRT phone is cleaner, lighter and apps open much faster when you compare it to the Note 4's MIUI. The MIUI 8 on the Note 4 is also built on the older Marshmallow version which is also a deal breaker. While the SRT phone also needs some optimizations and the MIUI offers some new features that the stock Android interface does not. So when it comes to operating system, both the phones in a way stand side by side. But where the Note 4 gets ahead, despite being same on paper, is the cameras. Both the phones have a 13 megapixel rear camera and a 5 megapixel front camera. But in real life, we found that the Note 4 has much better color reproduction and the details acquired are far greater than that acquired by the SRT phone. In fact, the cameras is one big flaw on the SRT phone that we have talked about in our review as well. The front camera on the Note 4 is also much better than the SRT phone. And overall, if camera is a high priority, you should not buy the Sachin phone at all. Lastly, the price of the SRT phone is also slightly higher than the Note 4. Since the SRT phone does not support an SD card, we are bound to compare the 64 GB variant of the phones. The 64 GB variant of the SRT phone comes at Rs 13,999 while that of the Redmi Note 4 comes at Rs 12,999. Now the SRT phone is available both online and offline but the Note 4 right now is only available online and at very few Mi Home stores offline. So it's highly probable that you're not able to get your hands on a Note 4 smartphone. But though the SRT phone poses a great competitor and being only the second phone from Smartron is quite a nice buy, there are also other phones in this price segment like the Moto G5 that you might consider.